Hi, hello, and welcome on back to the Firefly channel. We're gonna be playing some more Grand Theft Auto. Just can't get enough of it. You need to straighten out, man. And we're gonna go ahead and pick up with Trevor. And we have for ourselves a very simple, I'm assuming simple, story mission. And it's a Trevor designated mission, so that's why we're gonna pick up with him. Um, my assumption is something bad's gonna happen to these cousins of Floyd or whatever, because, like, I don't know, this game's just always a downer. <laughs> like, very few positive experiences actually happen. That's a funny way to greet your cousin. This ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the is that no one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Can I come in? Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah. With every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, <laughs> okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together? Huh? What the Monday hell am I Thursday. watching you right can now? Have the weekends, all right. I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good? Huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you, I've got a career. I don't need this, this, this crap. Yes. There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! Is this lady <laughs> smoking drugs? All. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice. Oh boy. Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> oh. Mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Deborah? Ooh. Interesting lady. Yeah. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. Oh, I know exactly where to take you. Uh, yep, yeah, that's, that's the Trevor I expected. Kind of speechless, but kind of expected. I could run in and get Floyd and Deborah. I know she seems kind of out of time, but she can have fun. Mm, no, I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, have you got all over yourself? You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah, syrup. Accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but. But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy... Daisy Bell and Kush Tronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit, and you met a dealer, and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, they was with you, driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof! <laughs> right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? 
And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone, anyone except me. Look, this is it. Oh. Um. This is where Floyd is going to meet us, a strip club? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let me pull apartment. out my good old. Interestingly, cheat you, sheet. you can see what button combo home. pauses the recording because this is going to cost me everything. Uh, let's see, plus right here. Shift here. plus. Yep. Here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't have anything assigned to pause recording. So here's hoping to no nudity, so I don't get that 18 plus rating that completely foobars the video's reach. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. I really need to get Thank on that. <laughs> like, I know there was like a button combo I set up, but I didn't write it down to be able to pause the recording and then just have it pick back up. It's like a, a pseudo... Prepare to meet your new partner. I don't know. It's like a, like a pseudo... Video editing mid recording almost. Hey Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the um, the big one, the the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. I think that's one problem about trying to be a YouTuber who basically showcases the video game experience from beginning to end, is that... Uh huh. at least I didn't waste time on that mission, I guess. Is that, like, if there's a scene that involves something that infringes upon YouTube's, um, entertainment restrictions, um, then I'm kind of screwed. Because it's like, I don't... I don't know, like, that's... If people know me as a YouTuber, I want them to know, uh, you know, I'm the guy that, like, will play through entire games beginning to end, so, like, people know I haven't done any funny business, and, you know, I'm, I'm giving you the whole entire game from point A to B, C, D, E, F, and G, you know? And I guess that's one downside is, like, I'm gonna have to essentially, um... I don't know, I'm gonna have to be careful about what games I pick in the future. Because obviously, I ultimately, I, the more exposure, the better. You know, I'm, I wanna be able to find a, a community of, of people who actually, you know, find this, this style of... Hold on, it's actually the next turn. This style of, like, entertainment entertaining, else why... Why else would I, you know, <laughs> have this kind of content? So, I don't know, that's just something I guess I need to be alert for in the future is just, you know, nudity, I guess maybe like extreme violence in games, which, I mean, this game's had some fairly decent, uh, you know, depictions of violence that kind of make me wonder, is that why that video never got pushed out to the algorithm? Because, I mean, I've been looking, a lot of my videos lately have been getting a couple hundred views, so for somebody like me, that's, that's really good, because typically that's not the case. <laughs> I, I know one of these doors, in fact, I think it's this one. Okay, it's not this one. One of these doors, I know, open up. And I almost feel like it is that door, but it's not opening up from the outside because it made me walk out of there, even though I've highlighted the, uh, the sprint, uh, key. I mean, I guess that's just one thing I don't necessarily have to worry about, is I don't have to censor anything Mr. in the Deceit. games, because YouTube Deceit. will just put a... 18 plus warning on it, but still, like, I don't need that. You know, I, that's just restrictive. I asked for your number, but they took my phone. I like how the guy doesn't even stop me. Like, it's just presumed that I'm allowed back here. He probably should have stopped me. Oh, hey, let's check out the strippers' uh, prep zone where they hype each other up. What do they got? Standard makeup, character reflection. Dan dancers wishing to be on the schedule must submit requests no later than Thursday opening. Strictly no exceptions. Huh. 
perspective immediately. All work must be done when wearing bottoms only. Huh. You know, it's stuff like this where you can actually, like, read the finer print that, like, it's nice. It just, oh, it's a snake. Um, it's just nice because it just adds a little bit more immersion. And monitored by closed circuit TV. Huh. All right. Hey, before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Merriweather, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> yeah. So how'd you come Trevor's starting to actually you? lose it. I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> so what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. I, uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. Maybe there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Sounds like we a good lifestyle. A low life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. <laughs> so, gentlemen, let's do A little our bit of that ego got a curve. And get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Oh, yep, that would be Leon. Oh, I thought there was like something off the side of my car, but it's just shadow effects. Okay. Come in, you there? All right, we're on a strict schedule. And there's a couple Ooh, of I'm like noticeably lagging. Intel suggests that we oh, down oh, geez. It needs to like re-stabilize the settings because that's throwing me off. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. Press R to look at the bank entrance. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas. Clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground. That's hard. Ain't that what the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside no, the Arcadia gold. Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey, man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, oh, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? But well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Yeah, I'd like to let them finish that dialogue first. In case they drop a nugget that's, like, relevant, you know? Look, dog, Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? <laughs> of course. Well, uh, uh, like clockwork, How's my time you? already that? I have like just clockwork. been... Why is my time so high up? They artificially inflated that time. You mentioned a, Unless if it's uh, recording before, how long I've been so playing, they artificially uh, inflated Mike that time. Yet, but he's going to be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Why do you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fine. Shit. 
I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. Now, okay, so I can't remember, because we've been playing Grand Theft Auto for so long now. Um, did any, I think Lester meant, like, expressed explicit knowledge, admitting that he's aware that, oh, oh, oh I feel for you, well, he ain't getting up, uh, expressed explicit knowledge, um, acknowledging that Brad is in fact dead. So right now, it seems like the only person who doesn't know this information is Trevor, and Trevor's got a very unhealthy we got two hours motivation we to here Heights. to interact with that man again. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! Damn. I mean, he's got a point. Could you, like, at any time hurry up? <laughs> like, oh, jeez. I can't even be, like, dissing Trevor because it's just like, damn, dude, like, hurry up. <laughs> oh, look at all that weird, like, terrain flickering out by the, uh... To the left, the, the, the hills on the left, like there's just so much flickering Good over there. Don't want him jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. Attention oh, even below the me, aircraft. there's a lot of flickering. Space is prohibited. Reverse course. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man! Those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid. It's a do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the ball in the way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Kind of hits home, doesn't it, Lester? calls <laughs> from the and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice. Once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction. I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Come in, Michael! What? We have a visual What's on going the on down there? That Keep guy just, like, team. bulldozes that do truck over. Need you to do. Oh, that flickering. Oh, Jesus. You need to stay with them and find a place to ambush. Uh, what kind of ambush spot are we looking for? Go, 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 forward. Move faster. You're a helicopter, down, not a freaking like, flamingo. No, it, uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us. Ooh, no okay, coming in way too hot. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh. Uh, this is gonna be a rough mission. Security convoy was alerted. Like, they fucking know. It's a random fucking helicopter. They don't know anything. I am offended. Hey, Michael, we have a visual on the convoy. Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We're mapping the route and finding an ambush point. Stay with them. Huh. This is actually, uh... What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait oh, so this is like a really patient mission. Down, Something I'm terrible at. <laughs> no, it, uh, like... Won't. I mean, I can be patient in the right, under the right conditions. I can be an extremely patient individual, but it's like, I don't like being patient in video games. Stop, 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 pull back. Okay, so we're just gonna keep on swimming, keep on creeping. Easy peasy. What about here for the job? Where? Under one of the bridges. It's en route and we'll have plenty of cover. He's got and a point. Open. There's a number of get outs and we'd be compromised if they were driven off the road into the river. We could recover the cars. With the right equipment, we'd haul them up the side. A central station is monitoring the car's positions. If the GPS tracker reads it's down there in the channel, we'll have red flags all over the place. Valid. Fine. I'm getting kind of close. Oh, uh, back up, back up. I was expecting them to keep going. If they see the TP Enterprise's chopper acting weird, this thing will be blown. What you thinking? Okay, they literally just bypassed those two cars. Is that even legal? Of time. In the same 
for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. So we're just gonna ignore that Trevor randomly rampaged and like murdered three people in less than like an hour's time. Because it doesn't actually help, probably like half an hour, because it doesn't take that long to get from Floyd's apartment to the strip club that's basically just down the way from his house. So that that was the Trevor I was expecting. Like psychopathic, murderous. Ooh. How am I? Side of them. Think they might be in the tunnel. <laughs> Don't worry, it's a straight road. They'll come out the other side. I'll go around. Meet them at the other end. I was hoping they'd come through here. This tunnel would work for a switch. They go in, you come out. Well, I said straight, but technically, actually directly under me. It goes... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh, -oh. uh, -oh. uh -oh. There they are! <laughs> Back out in the open! Because technically it turns left. So he said straight, so but whatever. I'm picking up the cars! Right on time! Hey! It, uh, it looks like we're gonna need some IDs to get in the building this way! I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, you're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. And take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking uh. for a big asshole! Uh. <laughs> okay, so he says there's a construction entrance, and they came in over here. That's got to be it right down there. That's the excavation! I need you to hold the chopper above it while I take a look. I agree. So I can shoot down into it. I agree. I just need to. Am I going lower? Or am I just staying like right here? Now just hover here. I get it, cause I'm. A little longer. Bro, snap a photo. It feels like they've been digging this tunnel forever. Yeah, I know. Just since I began the game. That's no good. It's load-bearing. All right. I think I've got enough information to work with. Dang, this is actually a long mission. I'm glad I started it first thing. Hey, so how you feeling about this? Feeling pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. And will he? Oh, he'll get it I done. I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? <laughs> so there's that. Oh, God, I yeah, still feel like I'm spiking the with the lag. And I, hey, and your family, man. Did you know I ever? I Ooh, hold on. No, I'm recording in 60 hertz. Uh, shouldn't V-Sync be off? You no, know no, no, no. We're just gonna. We're not gonna fidget with that. Man, okay, man, I know my bad. Me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we're about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't never gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Well, Fuck start it, uncomplicated. Ask Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dog. Real shady. Oh. We'll talk, all right? Just later. I think Franklin's realizing a thing or two about Michael here. Hell, even I'm starting to wonder, is Michael more so the villain out of these people versus Trevor? And Trevor is just... 
what what Trevor is right now is just the current result of his experiences with Michael, Lester, and everyone else. All right, holla him. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. So, I don't know, just, just me thinking. I'm kind of bummed, because maybe it's just me and I'm used to being pampered at 165 frames per second. But God, this looks laggy. Perfect distance, cavity search, under the bridge, tunnel flight. Wow, I did poorly on that. Nothing, I got nothing checkmarked. I mean, I don't think you get any real reward for it, but still, you know, it, it's always nice to get that stuff. God dang, 60 FPS is just naturally laggy. And I remember as a kid, I was thinking 60 FPS is like insane. Like, I can't believe how smooth the All gameplay right, see, is. It's time to go. Okay. Huh. Uh, what are we doing when we come back? Alright, so we've got uh, a Michael mission is currently highlighted. We've, we gotta steal a chopper and get up to Dom. He's like at the top of that building. Um, and if I remember correctly, the Minutemen mission wanted me to come back as Trevor? Yeah. All right. So when we come back, we're going to go ahead and I think we're going to pick up with Trevor. We're going to knock out strangers and freaks over here. And then we're going to go and try and check out the Minutemen. Afterwards, we're going to do whatever it takes to get up to Dom as Franklin. And then depending on how much time we have left in the episode, we'll probably go ahead and knock out one or two more parachute jumps. Maybe do like a race or a triathlon, like any of these like extra little side stuff, because that's that's something I personally neglect to do when I game is I don't typically play the side missions. I don't do the optional things. And I don't know, after playing through this story so thoroughly so far, it's like, wow, they they really do, you know, put the effort in. It's not just, oh, here you go. Same generic uh, parachuting. You know, they actually make it an obstacle course and make you parachute throughout the terrain and I don't know, just just me kind of ranting. But um, yeah, if you are enjoying my content, maybe consider leaving a like or a comment on my video. You know, if you didn't like my stuff, you know, let me know what, what's not vibing with you. Um, maybe even subscribe if you think I'm worth a, a subscription and whatnot. Um, but with that out of the way, um, thank you for watching my video. Have a wonderful day, everyone.